to talk about touch screen. And ever since that Apple applied the touch screen into their iPhones or something, almost every smartphone has this touch screen function. And that, uh, so that touch screen has become red hot, so we're going to talk about the history of it and the basic theory of touch screen. Uh, what is touch screen? Touch screen is like a, it's like uh, a panel, and when you put your thing, place your fingers on it, it could, uh, it could tic tac where to do located, and so that it could, uh, so that the device could do whatever you did on the panel. And it was for, and the picture was it was for in first invented in 1971, and it was like it was looked old fashioned, right? But uh, it was in, invented by this person named Sam Hurst, and. And that's why it was called uh, L graph. And but although this look uh, old fashioned and looks like it doesn't work, but actually the basic uh, theories are the same as recent touchscreen. Let's give you some preparation knowledge. Uh, first, uh, these are two devices always using uh, electron merit, and this one is called the capacitor. Uh, it's always made of two pieces of the metals, uh, and the the, uh, the c capacity is defined like uh, as the quantity of the electron uh, electric charge over voltage, and we can com compute uh, the we can compute the capacity by the formula shown here. T is a coefficient uh, uh, related to, uh, for example, temperature. Of, uh, mostly the features of of the media between these two pieces of metals. Uh, and uh, please remember this formula. Uh, the, the, when, when the capacitor is linked into a circuit, uh, its resistance um, is related to frequency. So we can see uh, here, S is the area of, each, uh, of the pieces of metals, and D is the distance. So we can see that if the distance reduce the cap uh, the capacity will become larger, uh, and this is the uh, a device called uh, inductor. Also, when it is, when it is linked into a circuit, uh, its resistance is related with uh, the frequency f. And so, uh, if if the uh, if the current has a has a larger frequency, uh, the res the re resistance will be larger. So let's look at uh, the touch screen. Um, the touch screen has a lot of layers. One of the most important layer is called the PCT panel. This is the um, this is the so-called uh, uh, PCT panel. It uh, it consists of some uh, rows and columns, and each rows and columns are in the same pattern. This remembers is uh, capacitors and uh, this rectangulars are resistance. So we can have an optimum circuit like this. Uh, each row and column is in the same pattern, so uh, this pattern ensures that all the capacitors have the same area, so, so the resistance of them are the same. Let's, um, let's look at this picture. The first step of using the screen is to touch. Our touching causes a decrease in the frequency of the circuit. That means uh, if we touch on the screen, a group of <coughs> capacitors will sense a pressure. That causes the, the uh, reduce of the distance be between the two pieces of uh, uh, metals. That, uh, do you remember the formula? That will cause uh, an increase in, in the capacity. Uh, uh, so, so we have, uh, so before touching, we have a uh, we have a current with high higher frequency, and when the touch screen is touched, the frequency will uh, reduce. Now we have a group of uh, current flow out from the uh, uh, touch panel. Some with the uh, uh, most with lower. Uh, most with higher frequency, some of them are, are, uh, have lower frequency. So the second step is to modify the current and lead into, uh, lead into the converter controller. Um, this is a kind of a controller based on a kind of wafer of this. Uh, this is only one type of 
controller. So uh, the, the, the differences in frequency may not be easily detected by the controller, so we have to modify it. Um, one, of the, one of the ways to modify the current is to add an inductor. Do you remember the formula before? The lower frequency, the lower resistance, and the larger current. So some some columns at, or at some rows um, will have a, a will have a, a larger current flow out uh, flow into the converter. And the step three and the step three is to convert the current into bits and send it out because the CPU can only detect the uh, bits instead of current. And actually, there's a program in a controller uh, named read, and that could uh, make the, uh, transform the current into bits like zero or one. And there's a, there's another uh, function that names copy to users that could uh, order the controllers to transmit the bits into uh, to the CPU. And to be more specific. If we want to touch on a graph with fixed function, like for example, we're playing games on on your smartphone or something, and uh, the controller has to de de uh, detect where did you locate your fingers and how did you do to it. Uh, here, here, uh, here, I'm gonna pass something. This read function is uh, this program in the controller is somehow like. Uh, uh, threshold um, because when we, when we read the current we will use a language called if else if the language is uh, no, if the current is large than uh, than uh, amount we will get a zero uh, else we will get a one so it's somewhat like a threshold um, this is a uh, Another kind of, uh, of uh, uh, touchscreen uh, circuit it is based on resistance, um, and uh, I think it's a an old-fashioned kind of touchscreen. And this is another uh, this is another kind of wafer. And these two are some. Uh, Popular touchscreens, one is called surface capacitive touchscreen, and another is surface capacitive with touchscreen. And this is the categories of uh, uh, touchscreens. Almost all kinds of touchscreens are here. Because um, touchscreen is, uh, is sometimes uh, a secret of some companies, so it's really hard to find some materials about the, the, uh, the newest kind of touchscreens. Uh, Today we uh, today we talk about touch screens. Uh, let's have a review. Um, for, uh, the first step is always to touch and cause a change in, for example, distance of the two pieces of two pieces of capacities, or cause a change in temperature that can affect the uh, the capacitive or uh, resistance, or sometimes uh, the sometimes our body is uh, another piece of uh, another piece of uh, uh, metal or something. So it will cause a, a change in current, in voltage, or in frequency of the uh, current. Uh, and then the and then the current flow out from the uh, touchscreen panel and into the converter. That will uh, the the converter will modify the signals by some computer program. Um, and then the, the converter will uh, will change the uh, the ele electronic signal into bits and send it to CPU. So you can see that um, uh, different kinds of uh, touch screens based on different kinds of uh, uh, devices, but the basic rules are the same. That is the transmission of information. Thank you. you have any questions?
think they have told us a lot of details, which is very nice about uh, the capacitive mode of the touch screen, right? And then uh, <coughs> you also briefly mentioned about the resistive mode and uh, the other varieties. Is uh, I think it's a very important topic. Very nice. Well done. Okay.